Hey, what is going on guys? Spikebeat here, bringing you a little Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gameplay. In the background here is a little bit of hardcore domination using the Pharaoh SMG. By far, definitely not my favorite gun, and that's actually part of the reason why I'm playing hardcore. I love hardcore. I can definitely get a lot more kills usually, and I get just everything usually goes a lot better for me. But this gun, <laughs> I really, I don't know where all the love for it is coming from. I think it is horrible outside of hardcore but anyways let's get off of that this right here guys this is definitely this is a whole video on things that kind of help you getting started in the game this spot right here is great i ended up making a mistake i probably could have used this spot a whole lot longer but you see i had that guy run and i jumped right back out to the same spot if i would have gone to the left probably could have stayed in that spot got a couple more score streaks but that's part of the game here part of learning how to play it and i hope that you guys who just got this game who are watching this they really enjoy it but let's get into this this is just a whole video on kind of things that i think you should definitely check out here in black ops 3 and it will definitely help you play starting off is some of the weapons that i think are without a doubt the best and that will definitely help you getting started in this game for starters the m8 a7 is probably without a doubt the best gun in this game if you play with it right if you play with it right, if you acknowledge that it is not the gun to go rushing in, trying to barrel stuff people, that it is something that you're going to sit back with a little bit more, you're going to watch alleyways, you're going to take aggressive moves, but you're not going to be rushing right in someone's face. This gun is great whether you have no attachments or you got all five or six. It is one of those guns that it doesn't really matter what you throw on it, it is going to work well for you if you use it right another gun that is great in this game it's the very first ar you unlock is the kn44 this is from the beta this was the arc uh arc 40 arc 7 sorry but it is a great gun it is one of those guns that is actually really good if you throw a silencer on it it is in fact other than the sniper rifles the best weapon to have a silencer on because it does not really affect its range all that much because it goes from being a three to a four shot kill it's very consistent over range it is a great weapon to start off with another one that you should definitely check out is the vesper the reason i say this one is so great is one the competitive players are huge fans of it but more from my own personal experience i am currently trying to get all of the weapons gold i'm trying to get diamond on everything trying to get the black matter if you haven't seen that, I'm live streaming a ton of attempts to get Black Matter camo. You should check that out on my channel. But anyways, the Vesper is the fastest weapon I've had yet at getting any of those weapons up to gold. I think I did the Vesper in two nights, whereas most guns I would spend a week after school. This one took me two nights and the thing was gold and it looks beautiful with the gold camo. Just because I know how big sniper rifles are, I am going to talk about them just a little bit here in this game. Play. If you are brand new to this game, throw a silencer on your sniper rifle. It has no negative effects. It does not affect the one-shot kill areas of the body. It does not affect the range. It literally does nothing to the sniper rifle except for make it to where you are invisible on the map. You don't show up. People can't hear you. You can go on far longer streaks because no one knows where you're at. It does not hurt you in any way. Definitely give that a shot. Another thing to throw onto your sniper rifles is the thermal sight. I picked one of these up the other day, and it was amazing. They work great in this game. It is just a fantastic sight. It was actually here on Redwood. I was playing in core before I decided to switch over to hardcore for this uh, gameplay. I was using this gun. I actually managed to do really well. I was in the bunker. And I took out a whole bunch of guys and ran out of ammo. So I picked up this guy's sniper rifle. I'm pretty sure it's the Locust is what it's called. And it had the thermal sight on it. And it was cr absolutely crazy. The thing just wrecks. Um, looking out this way, I think I got a quad feed with it because it is just that easy and that powerful to use. So I highly recommend that you pick up the Locust or any sniper rifle, throw a silencer on it, and throw a thermal on it. You will not regret it. Now, getting into the perks, 
what is without a doubt in my mind the best perk in the whole game would be awareness. If you haven't used it, throw it on. Get to the level where you unlock it, put it on, you will not regret it. It is so amazing. I was playing on Aquarium and I ended up just sitting there for the, as long as I could because I could hear everyone trying to run up and get a line of sight on me and to take them out before they even knew exactly where it was that I was capturing the flag from. It is a great perk and especially use it in conjunction with the Blast Suppressor perk. It is an amazing perk. Yeah, it takes you off the minimap. It makes you to where you can use this movement system to its maximum potential, which is great. But it makes it to where you can hear more. You aren't constantly hearing yourself jumping everywhere. You're not constantly being just deafened by that noise, which you're amazed when you put Blast Suppressor on how much quieter this game can be, how much louder the enemy can be when you are playing. It is just, it's, I highly recommend it. If you haven't used it, throw those two on and just go wild. You, as far as score streaks go here in this gameplay, you definitely want to keep the talent on. It is the first big score streak that you end up unlocking in this game. And it is probably one of the best in the game. Now, they recently buffed it so that it has a better AI for following you around. Yeah, that's great. It does decent. But if you really want to use this thing to its maximum potential, you really want it to be something that you are using the way it is supposed to be used, throw it up in the air, find a good place to hide, and take control of that thing. You will love the effects this thing gets you. You will just wreck people. If you can get it, now, Redwood is not the best example. I get one later in this gameplay. But if you can get one on any other map, get that thing into their spawn and just go nuts. I had one game, I got 20 kills using it. Average game, I get 12. 12 instead of the 20. But, I mean, that's still that's a whole lot more kills, especially when you consider all the gun kills that you have to get in order to get there, and especially all the other score streaks that you have up that are going to be getting you kills. It is just amazing the amount of kills that you can end up getting in this game from score streaks. And on top of that, another one of the lethal ones that is just fantastic, throw the Severus on. The Severus is just flat amazing. The thing, throw it down, but the key to remember, it does not move fast. It will not go from one spawn to the other anytime soon. What you got to do with the Severus is call it on like for me the b flag here in domination and just let it protect an area and try to put it in the most high traffic areas possible you will not regret it in the slightest and here with this talent i think i only managed to get into their spawn and get maybe five kills i think that's about it but i mean that's still that's a whole lot more kills than i would have gotten otherwise i ended up getting taken out about half health here i made a bad decision using the talent fly low do not go high stay low and just swoop in and shoot people before they have a chance to shoot you now finally getting into this on the equipment most of the equipment i think is fairly useless except for the smoke grenade the smoke grenade in this game is fantastic if you throw this down it hides you from enemy uav pings it does not however hide you from the hater it hides you from most ground score streaks if you take this and throw it around a severus you can take it out really easily because the Severus doesn't know what to do. However, it does not hide you from the airstreaks. The airstreaks will still come in and shoot you. Also, thermal sights still see you through it. Does not help you a whole lot. Finally, I'm going to talk about some game modes. Safeguard is pretty good in this game, except for everyone has realized the pub stomping ability of the game mode. And unless you have a whole squad who is really good and are going to help you out, I do not recommend it. It's a great way to see your KD drop otherwise. My personal favorite, the one I highly recommend you pick up and play, is Domination here. Domination is a fantastic way to level up. I ended up actually, most games I average anywhere from 20 to 30 plus thousand XP a game. It is just a great way to level up. On a good night, I can go through every level in two games, two or three games, very easily. Plus, it's a lot of fun. Now, this game right here in particular was extremely weird 
in the way that it ended because it actually this game is going to end here in just a second in a tie which i've never seen before i really like this new way of uh doing the time on domination that treyarch's using by having it be entirely score based but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed that gameplay i thought this was a really cool game ends in a tie at 200 points it's a 45 and 23 gameplay i think just a great game if you guys are new be sure to subscribe for more gameplay if there's any videos in particular that you want to see any bit of advice you want to see just comment it down below and i'll do my best to make a video on it thanks for watching guys